Good morning or good afternoon. This is the first of the three DRM presentations at DBS uh, 2021. Uh, you know me, I'm Ruxandra Obreja, the DRM chairman, and I'm going to talk a little bit about new things, uh, about the DRM uh, uh, standard, how it can be fully used, not only in AM and FM, but with all its benefits. Now, uh, I don't need to remind you that we live in very uh, troubled times, in times of the pandemic. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we have great strength in radio. There are six billion radio sets in the world. And they are, for many people, the only means of getting information uh, about their world and what is uh, happening beyond. You should remember that 3.5 billion people are not connected. No IP, no laptops, uh, no uh, iPhones, nothing of the sort. And for these people, radio delivers not only information, but gives them media freedom and a lot of social benefits, so important in these Digital radio expands all this, is not only green and sustainable, but being independent of the local infrastructure and being able to reach any citizen, at least through DRM, radio becomes indeed the lifeline, the, the lifeblood of these communities. Uh, radio is available without uh, any subscription, it's free of access and users can retain anonymity. This might not be important to some of you, but is very important in a lot of the countries, even in your, uh, in your continent. Of course, DRM uh, can go from local, regional, national and international with audio services, but also with cross-border lifeline services. DRM uh, has a very strong foothold and we've made a lot of progress in the last year, believe it or not. It has been adopted by India, Pakistan and further afield by South Africa this last year, uh, has been tested in Brazil, Russia and many other places. And I will detail them uh, for you if you have the patience. Now, uh, we always get this question, if analog is so good, 6.5 billion radios, why should we go digital and why use DRM at all? I mean, I will just repeat very briefly that DRM gives universal and free access to information, education and entertainment. And it reaches all the citizens in a country or a continent. Uh, it means that you can do all this using a single technical standard at reduced costs, at uh, a very efficient use of the spectrum. And you are providing your listeners with a digital media hub, which it means much more than audio. Um, DRM also allows for a smooth transition from analog to digital radio. It doesn't need a completely new infrastructure and it uh, stimulates and gives an opportunity to local manufacturing and to the acquisition of know-how, which is so very important. As you know, our consortium is not for profit and here are some of the companies, big and small broadcasters, but not only manufacturers as well. Uh, which participate in our work. Uh, our work is to make the standard known and we are not for profit. We don't live out of any IP licenses and all the rest. I will just quickly remind you, although you've seen this many times, that DRM works in all frequency bands. Uh, it works above the 30 megahertz and we call it DRM for local or regional coverage. All the VHF bands, one, two, the FM band, you know it very well, and three, and below, and this is the DRM for medium and large area coverage, AM bands. I uh, gave a title to this presentation that DRM is both, if you want, very wide, very deep, very broad, because no matter which frequency band you are going to use, the benefits, uh, the great benefits of TRM are absolutely the same. The features are uh, many, but the most important for broadcasters at least um, is that in one 
frequency, we would say an analog FM or AM frequency, you can provide up to three audio services and multimedia. This is the element of the digital hub. And of course, you can upgrade existing uh, infrastructure in AM and FM by using a very uh, solid, well-recognized DRM, the DRM standard. No licenses are uh, required and uh, attention broadcasters, you don't need to go to a multiplex solution as each broadcaster remains in full control of their transmission and content. I won't go through all these. Uh, the first uh, key fi feature is the one which I have mentioned, up to three programs and multimedia, obviously in excellent audio, with multimedia applications, and of course, providing very good coverage, either as a single transmitter or in SFM. No more frequencies for listeners to learn by heart, and of course, a lot of other benefits. If you want to understand a little bit how DRM audio services and multimedia looks or might hear, might, you might hear them, uh, here is a, just a, a, a visual presentation uh, in uh, India, for example, where you have uh, three audio services, if you can see them in sort of dark gray, and then you also have uh, the metadata, the information uh, that comes accompanying the audio service. Of course, we mentioned the emergency warning, still so important. A disaster or emergency warning can be anything from uh, illness to natural disaster to man-made disaster. And the, the beauty with DRM is that you can alert, uh, wake up, uh, receivers in standby uh, areas hit by a disaster from another part of the country or of the continent which has still the transmission distribution capabilities. And this is what it shows. And don't forget, not everyone speaks a language or hears it very well. So in digital, you will be able to broadcast information about the disaster in several languages visible on the screen. How does it look? Uh, we talked about the media hub, uh, the multimedia, and you can see on the left hand side what this might uh, mean. You can get a lot of information there, news and updates and traffic and uh, a lot of things. Or you can use this particular service, multimedia service, to uh, carry the emergency information. So uh, on the left is the general kind of information you might get. On the right is the emergency warning, but in different uh, languages. In this case, in different Indian languages. Um, one thing we have honed a lot in uh, 2020 has been uh, DRM used for education. A lot of schools have closed, a lot of people haven't had any access to education, and this is why we want to highlight one of the great benefits of DRM, the access to information, entertainment and emergency warning, of course, but especially to education, because the data transmission, the fourth channel, if you remember, so audio, 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 and then metadata, data, multimedia, that can be used for education. And uh, that uh, can be, of course, not a full uh, handbook, textbook, but it can be enough information to keep uh, students informed, able to learn, and all this without uh, the need for internet. In DRM receivers, you can also cache the information, so you transform uh, your audio and text uh, live material into a textbook which you can access later. So DRM can provide education to remote areas uh, during a pandemic and I would invite you to uh, listen and see how it is done and also get some hands-on experience on Wednesday uh, when we are uh, going to conduct a workshop on this particular subject. How does it look education? Okay, through radio. And uh, here you, I have 
illustrate it a little bit how it might look. So if you look at the uh, dark blue screen, the large one, this is the multimedia uh, access through journal line, you can turn that into your school if you want. And then you can go uh, to the language you want to be instructed in, in English, in Hindi or Tamil or any other language. Then you select uh, the level and also the subject. And if uh, you want for, to go for mathematics, you will have the list, lesson, the quiz and the answers. And if you want to see, OK, I have learned all this. Let's quiz and see if I have uh, learned everything. Uh, the last uh, picture shows you how a quiz might look. So you will hear much, much more about this on Wednesday. Uh, or you can put the same information if uh, you don't have enough receivers or uh, laptops linked uh, via Wi-Fi to a receiver. You can use it on public signage, which means a big screen like you have seen all over the world, uh, which will be connected uh, to the source of information, but via radio not uh, via other internet or other other ways. It will be information carried uh, terrestrially uh, through DRM to this screen, which can be placed in the street, in a school, in a hospital, wherever you want. So um, if you want to find out more about uh, how we have demonstrated all these features in India, please attend tomorrow's session or learn about learning with DRM uh, at our workshop. I mentioned I will give you a very, very brief uh, overview of uh, DRM in the world and what has happened. And don't worry, I'm not going to go country by country and continent by continent. I'm just showing you the, the key countries for uh, DRM. And I will immediately go uh, to our latest uh, demonstration trial, which we have carried out in India, in Delhi and Jaipur, uh, but this time uh, trying to demonstrate the many uh, advantages of DRM for FM. And uh, we have a full presentation tomorrow on this, but uh, I just uh, thought I would mention it and show you exactly how we uh, carried also our own measurements on professional receivers. And uh, very interestingly, you see here on the top a car. This is a Hyundai with a Mobis uh, head end, receiving this time not only DRM in AM, as in India there are about 3 million cars which can receive DRM in AM, but also DRM in FM and this is also uh, backward compatible. In other words, the units already in the cars can be upgraded. Uh, then uh, you see a standalone receiver and also the uh, mobile solutions that DRM has worked on. So this was India, but uh, I will just mention here that uh, apart from India, China is doing uh, a lot of DRM in shortwave. And Russia is still having uh, a demo on uh, DRM in FM in St. Petersburg on the air. It's uh, now two years old. Uh, the report on uh, the Russian DRM in FM trial has just uh, been adopted by ITU. And I recommend you look at it. You look at all the trials if you are interested, which are freely available on our website. Indonesia has done uh, very interesting trials and is on air with five uh, DRM4FM transmitters, especially for emergency warning. And Pakistan has adopted and mandated uh, DRM. Brazil has just finished a very successful DRM in shortwave, and there is interest in shortwave, so uh, don't think that shortwave has been abandoned. And uh, there are uh, very successful uh, transmissions in DRM from weight uh, in the Middle East as well. Interesting uh, to mention here South Africa. South Africa has um, mandated uh, last July uh, its support for digitization radio in DRM and DAB plus. 
and you can uh, see all the information here. And the uh, same uh, formula, this uh, digital sound broadcasting, as it is called in South, Af in South Africa, has been also adopted by 16 countries in Southern Africa, uh, middle of the slide where I am mentioning some. There are, of course, other countries, uh, Hungary, for example, uh, broadcasting at the moment, India and shortwave, uh, United Kingdom, uh, France itself uh, doing uh, tests uh, towards India at the moment, Romania and the United States. I mentioned uh, Indonesia, and that is a uh, 2020 new thing. They uh, have installed these five uh, FM transmitters uh, in DRN, and they managed and are continuing to transmit in digital radio and also tested very successfully emergency warning, which is crucial for this. Now, everyone says receivers, and that has been the great step change in 2020 uh, for us. Uh, there are now uh, various uh, solutions, as you can see, cars, home radios and mobiles. And uh, there are over 3 million cars on the roads in India with uh, almost all the big brands you know and love being able to uh, present DRM in air. And as I mentioned, uh, the solution to upgrade it to FM is there and was uh, demonstrated just a couple of uh, uh, weeks ago. So um, new uh, brands have uh, joined uh, this enterprise, this rollout in India like MG. And that's why I showed this. The standalone uh, receivers are many and uh, I'm not going to go through all of them. Uh, Gospel has uh, really developed a lot of more receivers than what you saw last year. Uh, in the middle you see star waves and uh, that's very interesting. Look at the left one that is uh, called a tuk-tuk radio which can uh, be the car box radio, which can be installed in any car, really, uh, without uh, modifying uh, the head unit or doing a lot of uh, very complicated stuff. Uh, I mentioned uh, here gospel, and uh, you can see it is very complex, very interesting, and it's got already a distributor in India. Uh, the prices have uh, gone down uh, a lot, and you can contact them and uh, place orders. And uh, they are ready to launch their 220 series, as you can see. Uh, this uh, is uh, uh, very handy, portable radios, very attractive. And again, doing everything from XHEAC, the uh, codec DRM is using, emergency warning, and uh, 60 station memory presets, and all the rest. This is an advanced radio. I mentioned the Tuk Tuk radio, we call it Carbox, which worked very well in India. And it's a really a cheap solution for getting digital radio, DRM radio. Uh, it's doing both analog, of course, and DRM in all frequency bands. And we also have phone solutions, which I uh, showed uh, you before being uh, tested and uh, shown uh, during the trial, which we uh, have recorded basically step by step as well in India. I'm not going to play the video, but you can get it and play it to your heart's content. I remind you that uh, a lot of the tests, a lot of the information about DRM is now available in handbook.drm.radio and that you can uh, get in touch with us, get the latest information all for free, like the handbook as well, by writing to us or subscribing to our newsletters or joining our uh, consortium. When with this, I will say thank you. And if you have Slido questions, please send them to us and we'll try to answer them. Thank you very much for uh, your patience. And I hope you are convinced that indeed DRM has uh, uh, really made uh, very great steps in 2020, despite everything. Radio is important, has become more important than ever in these times. Thank you.